All right, happy Sunday morning to you and happy new year. Amen. Uh, feliz domingo por la mañana y feliz año nuevo. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Amen. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all those joining us by audio or video. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Brace yourself. Put your seatbelts on and let's get going. We won't keep you long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we won't keep you long. I know right. I, I know that will cause you to stop you from turning us off. Amen. But get yourself get yourself strapped. Uh -huh. Amen. Because, Amen. you know, we're going to go for a ride. Amen. It's a yes. new year. Praise God. Yes, and we need to know basic instructions before we leave. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. We're going to yes. be talking. Our message today is going to be talking about starting new. About starting a new beginning. Oh. Amen. And I'm glad that this is a different message, but uh, God is a God of a second chance, yes. and a third chance, and a uh -huh. fourth chance, yeah. and on and on and on. And you know what? He don't give up on you. Mm. So don't you give up on Him. Amen. Yeah, yeah. He's always there for you. You know how much it, how, how long it takes to get to Him is just take a step uh -huh. in the opposite direction. Yes. Amen. We're going in the wrong way. All you have to do is take a step in the, in the right way, yes. and he's right there embracing you and amen. saying, welcome, welcome home, amen? Yes. And we, some of us, we need we need to do this, amen? So praise God, he's not finished with you. That's it. And you know, sometimes we got to remind ourselves that we're supposed to be the most cheerful people, the most That's joyful it. people, the most happy, That's happiest it. people on all earth, here. believers. You know, somebody see you with a frown and sad all the time and fussing all the time. Guess what? I don't want what you got. But they see you happy and joyful and say, yes. there's some bad things going around. Mm -hmm. How come you're always joyful? And uh -huh. you tell them, says, because of Jesus. Amen. Yes. Well, I said, well, I want some of that. Well, good. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus is not something Amen. you try. It's something that you take. Amen. It's something that you go into. Amen. It's a lifestyle. It's not just once in a while, yes. not part time, but full time. Amen. I was, I was telling Patricia, we was talking on the way here, and uh, and I said, um, aren't you glad, well, they're talking about excuses, I said, aren't you glad that uh, Jesus, when he saw the cross, or when he saw it was the day for his execution, uh -huh. his sacrifice, that he says, you know what, I won't take those stripes. You know what, I don't want to go to the cross, so Father, take me. You know, no. he didn't give up on us. Right. Mm -hmm. He had us in his heart. Yes. When he's doing these things. Right. Amen. He had us in mind. Right. And he fulfilled what the Father sent him to do. But guess what? Yeah. He's got you on his heart now. Amen. So fulfill what he's called you to do. Yeah. And we're going to be talking basic things that you yeah. can do to get going. Amen. Right. So don't exclude yourself. Something that we do that this world wants to do all the time. You're no good. You're excluded. No. Get up and get busy for God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Ooh, come on now. Amen. Okay, I'll keep this on. All right, Happy New Year. Let's make this declaration together. Grab your Bibles. Yes. And say it like you mean it. Amen. Yeah. So here we go. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name, Amen. Woo! I am what the Bible says I am. Yes. And remember, we got a list over there of I am's. And confess what you are yeah. in Him. Right. Not what the world says. Not what your friends say. Right. Or what anybody else says. Mm -hmm. Confess what the Word of God says you are. Amen. That's it. And you're a winner. You're a champion. You're an overcomer. And on and on and on. And confess these things over yourself this new year. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We confess all kinds of negative things. Mm -hmm. Let's confess some positive things. Yes. Right. Amen. As a matter of fact, let me read this to you. I read it to you so many times. You should know it by now. <laughs> Let your say so. Let your word. The Bible yes. says, um, Proverbs 18, 21 says, words bring death to, or life. Uh -huh. Talk too much and you'll eat every Ooh. thing you say. Yeah. You. Yeah. You said it, it's coming at you. Yeah. Amen. And you try to hurt somebody else, it's coming back at you. Yes, it's it at is. you. Okay. So let's remember this. What you say says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Amen. Tongue meaning the words you speak. Mm -hmm. Words. You can have life or you can have death. Yeah. But here's the thing is you have a choice. Right. Yes. The choice Amen. is yours. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So let me yes. read them to you. I encourage you this year to <laughs> send, send your words. 
Yes. You're sending your words to accomplish something. Yes. Send your words out in a positive mm -hmm. direction. That's right. Speaking positive confessions over your life by choosing to change what you say. Yeah. Your say so's. Let your say so's be, I am blessed. <laughs> people see you, people hear you, and you say, You're not blessed. I'm confessing what the word says. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm a winner. I am prosperous. I am strong, healthy. I am talented. I am creative. I'm mm -hmm. faithful. I'm secure. Yes. I am focused. Amen. Amen. We need to stay focused. Yes. You know, when we going somewhere, man, I can't wait to get there. I'm focused on where I'm going. Yeah. Amen. When we when we're focused on what we want, man, you know what I want for Christmas. Yeah. We're focused. <laughs> we're targeted, man. We're on GPS, man. We're right on it. We I want to stay focused. On what God wants me to do. Yes. I'm focused on Him. Amen. I'm oh, I'm attractive. I'm valuable. I'm an overcomer. I'm a conqueror. I'm a well life. I'm fun off to be around. I'm um, good. I have good personality. Mm -hmm. Amen. The right people are in my future. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know what? God's going to take them people away from you, those distractions from you. Mm -hmm. If they're not adding to you, they're taken from you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But He's going to bring those right people. <clears throat> For a season, some short season, some yes. middle season, some longer yes. season. That's and they're right. going to be there for you, and they're going to bless you. Yes. They're going to increase you and not decrease you. That's Amen. Right. The right opportunities are headed my way. Well, you know, this always happens to me, you know. It's in our family, you know. We never do anything. Oh. Never happens to us. We're just poor. We're no good. Oh, my God. When you keep confessing that, and that's what you're yeah. going to have. You can have yeah. what you say. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But the right opportunities, the right jobs, the right everything is coming my way. Yes. Why? Because the Word of God says so. I'm a yeah. child of God. Amen. Oh, you got to get excited for Him. <laughs> I will accomplish my dreams. I will accomplish my vision. Amen. I will overcome every obstacle. This Amen. is my year to break through. Yes. This is my year to break through. Don't give up. Mm -mm. Press on. Press on. Amen. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Lord, you you, you want to challenge, uh, just read the story of Job. <laughs> and you know, his so-called friends told him, he says, you know, just curse God and yes. die. Well, you know, if you die, you get a wife, wife, problem, wife, you know? His wife said that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, his wife. said something else. <laughs> I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Greater is he that's in me yes. than he that is in the world. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. But you have to be positive and you can... You have to confess these things and you say, well, once in a while. No. no. All the time. Oh. All the time, you know. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Amen. You know, uh, we're, we're somewhere in here, we're going to talk about dream busters. Okay. Vision busters. Mm -hmm. Opportunity busters. You know, these people that haven't fulfilled their dreams and they want to take your dream down. Oh, well. yeah. Yeah. Don't let nobody mm -hmm. take your dream. Don't let nobody take your peace or your joy or anything. Bring them into that peace that you have. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. I said all that to say this. <laughs> Start every day accomplishing this. Doing this. Psalms 118, 24 says, oh man, we know about that scripture again. This is the day, the new day, the new year, the new beginning the Lord has made. Mm -hmm. God has given us. Yes. yes. You should remember that. God has given me another day to live. Yes, he has. Amen. You could have been gone. Mm. <laughs> you know, uh, I was going to my brother's house. Well, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> no, seriously. I was going to my brother's house yesterday, and I saw there was cars out there. So I said, well, he's busy, so I'm not going to go. And then I'm thinking, I said, well, what if this is the last time I get to see him? Mm -hmm. You know? So it turned me around and went back. I want to see him. Yeah. And I want him to live as long as he, God has him here, you know. Yeah. And and these, these this is people that you know, people that you love. Yeah. You know, don't pass up on, on seeing them mm -hmm. right. or calling them, you know. Right. Get every opportunity you have, go and see them, you know. Right. Spend time with them and let them know, you know, you love them. God loves them. Amen. Yes. Yes. And this is what the contemporary English version says, Psalms 118, 24. This day belongs to the Lord. Let's celebrate and be glad today. Excuse me, I didn't finish the other one. Let me go back. New, uh, new King James says, This is the day, the new day, the new year, the new beginning the Lord has made. God has given us. 
we will says we will or you can say i will mm -hmm. rejoice yes you know what rejoice means rejoice mm -hmm. means yes. i am going to celebrate yes. joyfully thank you lord yes. for this new day okay. amen celebrate thank you, you go look it up yes. rejoice means i'm going to celebrate uh -huh. and be glad this day god has given me yes. Yes. i'm going to be i'm rejoice celebrate joyfully and be glad glad means to be happy, yeah. to be eager, uh -huh. to be willing, to be ready, to be prepared, yeah. to be pleased. Thank yeah. you, Lord. You know, we're only pleased on Fridays. That's the only time we say, bring God into the picture. Mm. Oh, thank God it's Friday. Mm -hmm. You know, what about the other days? No, yeah. thank God. Right. Listen, every day, be glad. Hey, happy, man. eager, willing, yes. ready, prepared, and pleased. Yeah. We can do those things. Yeah. You know, hey, it's Friday. Man, I'm happy I come alive and we're going and we're gonna hit the bar, man. We're going, we're gonna go party. Man, and I'm excited, I'm gonna be the show. And we come to serve God or we come to church and man, we quiet as mice. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> and I'm gonna do these things in it. And I already read to uh, Psalms 118, 24 in the contemporary. Yes. A new day, a new start, a new beginning, new expectations, yes. new goals, new opportunities, new priorities. Yes. We start a new beginning. It mm -hmm. brings this. It brings fears. It brings doubts. And it brings change. Oh, man, I don't want to change. Why? Because we're so set in our ways. Mm -hmm. We don't want things to change. We want it to just be comfy. We don't want to be shaken up. No. Amen. We gotta. We, we we don't want nobody to change our ways. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Especially God. Oh, boy. <laughs> we do things hiding from Him, but He can see everything, and He knows yes. everything. And you know what? He knows everything about you. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's it. And He loves you the most. Yes. Come on. Man. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. So it brings change. Always done. It's always done this way. I'm not gonna change. Mm. Well, what's God's way? You know, I have to change some things. When I read, this is the way I was brought up, and this is the way we do things. Mm -hmm. But when I read what the Word of God said, mm -hmm. I changed to think. I changed what the word to what the Word says. Yes. And the family gets upset. You know, I said, well, still, I rather they be upset than not be upset. God be upset at me. Amen. Yes. And I'm going to do what the Word says. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody brings you something, says something. If they don't have scripture to back it up, just put it on the shelf yes, or delete yes. it. Amen. Yes. So let's remember these things because the enemy is busy. Amen. Yes, yes. It brings anxieties, brings worries, brings problems. None of you have these things. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> brings cares. You know, cares come. We got to, as children of God, we got to step out in faith. Yes. Amen. We got to step out in faith. Amen. Life is tough. When things yes. get tough, the tough, the tough get, going. get going. I wrote it like this. The tough in Christ get the stepping mm -hmm. Amen. and pressing on yes. with him. With him, we win. Without him, we lose. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a sticker. I think I've told you plenty of times, but I have a sticker on my truck on the bumper. It says, uh, it's hell without him. It's hell without Jesus. It's hell without Jesus. That's right. It is. In many ways, because yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> if you ain't going to heaven, you're going to hell. Right. <laughs> so let's remember that. Mm -hmm. It's hell without Jesus. John yeah. ten ten says the thief, the enemy, the devil does not come except to steal, to kill, yeah. and to destroy. Yeah. And you know what he's going to use? He's going to use people. <laughs> God uses people, believers. Yeah. The enemy uses non-believers. Mm. People that say, well, I don't want to go there. I'm not going to change. Mm. Okay? I'm just going to stay neutral. I'm just going to be lukewarm. I'm not going to do anything. Mm. Well, guess what? The enemy got you anyway. Because yeah. now you ain't on the winning team. You're on the losing team. Yes. <laughs> Amen? The winning team goes up. The losing yeah. team goes down. Yeah. You had a choice. Yes, you and you chose not to. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's real simple. <laughs> But the enemy is going to use people just like God uses people. Yes. 
And sometimes these people are your best friends. Yes, they are. <laughs> so you got to be careful. <laughs> Ooh, come on now. Got quiet. Huh? <laughs> I have, says, I have come. Jesus says, I have come that you might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Yes. With him, you can have life and have it more abundantly. More abundantly. Without him, you're going to have hell. Mm -hmm. And you can have that choice. And you can live like that if you want to. Mm -hmm. Or you can change that. But the yeah. choice the choice is yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 2 Timothy 1 and 7 says this. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. Yeah. His word, when we feed in his word, yeah. our faith grows. Yes, it does. Because I'm getting all the fears, all the mm -hmm. negative things out of me, and I'm filling it with positive things. Yeah. I'm filling it with faith. Yeah. So now when he says something, I can step out in faith. Uh -huh. Amen. I may not believe it, or I may not, I've never done it before, but I'm going to step out in faith. Mm -hmm. Noah said, build me an ark. He said, what's an ark? But he went anyway, and he started doing something yes. he never did before. Yeah. All of a sudden, a lot of these people, they call, you know, I've never done that before. Yes, it it's okay. But I just step out in faith and do it in faith. <laughs> All right, Lord, I'm trusting you. I'm going to step out. <laughs> Grow in faith. Step out in faith this day and every day and this new year. Mm -hmm. Lord, I want, to, I want to grow more and more in you this yes. new year. Yes. Amen. And you can and you will. You know, yes. just like a child. Just like climbing that ladder, you know. Mm -hmm. One step at a time. Yes. It takes time, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can't get up to be uh, a superstar in one day. That's it. Amen. You got to trust Him. Amen. And big or small, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Just trust God and have faith. Yes. And you're going to fulfill Amen. Amen. First Peter five seven and eight says this New Living okay. Translation: Give all worries. Say give. Yeah. <laughs> give give all worries. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> says cast, <laughs> but give yes. all worries give and all cares worries. to God, yeah. for He what cares yeah. about you. Yeah. Stay alert. Watch out mm -hmm. for the great enemy, the mm -hmm. devil. Yes. Amen. The great enemy, the devil. Yeah. He didn't say spouse. <laughs> he didn't say uh, family. He didn't say boyfriend, girlfriend. <laughs> he didn't say in laws. He didn't say neighbors. He didn't say co workers or whatever you want to put in there. He didn't say that. He says, Your enemy, the devil. That's your enemy. That's right. The enemy, the devil. It says that uh, he prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Yeah, yeah. He wants to take you down. Uh -huh. And if if you're just halfway doing things, you know, mm -hmm. and confessing the wrong things, you're opening the door for him yes, to come in. That's it. You mm -hmm. open the door for him to come mm -hmm. in. Sometimes we open the door quicker to the enemy mm -hmm. than we do for God. Mm -hmm. God's still knocking. Oh, and we, we, we're not opening to God, but yeah. we're easy opening mm -hmm. what the devil does, mm -hmm. what the devil says, or what people say, you know, mm -hmm. because somebody... Can, I know came and said something yeah. and I open up real easy. Mm. So we gotta be careful. Yeah. Amen. Don't make it easy for him. That's it. Here's the thing. Take authority. Yeah. Amen. Remember the story of David and Goliath. Uh-huh. <laughs> Goliath came, a giant. You know, every day you go out in the world, you face giants. Even when you're home, you know you're thinking about all these giants you gotta face. You know, uh -huh. that's you know, whatever it may be, your job, it doesn't matter. Our, every one of us is different. Yeah. But still, with God, and David was stepping out with God, and he was stepping out in faith. That's right. And he, you know, he says, I can take you down. Yeah. He says, and, and the enemy was left, laughing, 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 you know. So, take authority, and that's the main thing is, the greater one is in you. So you got to take authority and step out in faith. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> glory, glory, glory. You still love pastor, huh? Amen. Yeah. <laughs> so happy New Year, church. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for 2021. And uh, with Christ and open and start 2022 with Christ. A champion, a one of not a wannabe. A winner, not a loser. A victor a victim, excuse me, a victorious and not a victim. Yeah. Man, that's what I am. Mm -hmm. Used to be. I'm a victor. 
not a, not a victim. Amen. Knowing I can do all things through Christ, knowing that greater is he that sent me than he that sent the world, knowing Amen. that he has great plans for me, and none of them include defeat. Yeah. He has great plans for you. Right. You know why he put you here? Because he got great plans for you. Uh -huh. You know, we start thinking with our minds, you know, what we can't do, the failures and all the setbacks, and say, uh -huh. And all the things people have told us, you know, you, you're not qualified, you can't do that, mm. you're not good for that. Mm. But that's not what this is. That's right. He, he has great plans for me. And you know how you're going to find out your plans? You got to come right. receive him as you always did. Yes. And start living for him. Yeah. And pressing on with him. Yeah. He's got great plans for you. Great. Mm -hmm. Amen. Great plans. Thank you, Oscar. Not, uh, knowing the devil. And your only enemy is a defeated foe. Yes. You said to authority, you know. He's a defeated foe. And you're afraid of a defeated foe. Mm. And one day you'll get to see him. Mm. And you're going to say, I was afraid of him. He's nothing. Mm -hmm. Bible, put him under your feet. Yes. Amen. When people bring your past, bring up your past, just let them know. Uh -huh. I don't live there no more. That's it. I'm a new person. Amen. I'm a new child of God. Yes. Amen. New creature in Christ. New creature in Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. Gladly leave the past behind yes. and press on with God. Yes. And this is our text. We've been using it since since last year. That's a long time. <laughs> 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 I want to read it to you in two translations here. Philippians, you can, if you want to go to Philippians 3, chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. And it says, mm -hmm. pressing towards God. I'm pressing towards God. If I'm pressing toward to heaven, mm -hmm. I'm pressing towards God. Amen. It says, verse 12 says, I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these mm -hmm. things or that I have already re reached perfection. Yeah. But I press on mm -hmm. to possess that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. Yeah. It says I. Scratch mm -hmm. the I and put your name there. Mm -hmm. Because you can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. <clears throat> and verse 13 says, No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it. Mm -hmm. But I, see another I, yeah. so many eyes there. Mm -hmm. But I focus on the one thing, mm -hmm. forgetting the past yes. and looking forward to what lies ahead. That's it. Verse 14, I, <laughs> I press to reach the end of the race mm -hmm. and receive the heavenly prize for which God through, through Christ Jesus mm -hmm. is calling Amen. me or Amen. us. <coughs> Praise God. Thank you. Lord. Amen. Amen. He wants you. You know where he wants you? He wants you in heaven. Mm -hmm. yes. And he's called. He put you here to be a winner, not a yes. loser. No, he put you to, here to be victorious yes. and not a victim. Oh, yes. Amen. Yes. The message Bible said it like this. Focus on the goal. Philippians uh, 3, 12 through 14. I'm not saying that I have <clears throat> these all together. But I haven't made. That I haven't made. But I am well on my way, reaching out for Christ, who has mm -hmm. so wonderfully reached out to me. Yeah. Friends, don't get me wrong, but no means do I, I count myself uh, mm -hmm. count myself an expert in all these. But I've got my eye on the goal. Yes. Where God is beckoning us onward. Mm -hmm. To Jesus. I am off and running. I am not turning, not looking back. That's it. Amen. Mm -hmm. You're going forward, not backwards. You know, in this world, everything it goes, mm -hmm. you, you go forward, not backwards. Mm -hmm. When you put on the armor of God, it's to protect your front yeah. because yeah. you're going forward, not backwards. Right. <laughs> Amen. So, yeah. children of Israel, when things get rough and don't get their way, they wanted to turn back. <laughs> Amen. He oh, says, Jesus. well, let me read it. Mm -hmm. They want to go back to bondage. Yes. They want to go back to slavery. Mm -hmm. They wanted to go back to beatings. Mm -hmm. we, we we can't do this ourselves. Mm -hmm. Amen. We can't go back to yes, losing. Yes. We come back can't go back to the, the past. We gotta press on. Yes. And listen to this. Mm -hmm. Don't get don't get let me go. Don't go don't don't go back to our comfy place or our comfy zone. Yeah. Don't get stuck in the past. Yeah. Lot's wife was looking back. The Bible says, the Bible says she told him to a pillar of salt. Yeah. He wants us to press on. Yes. 
Isaiah 43, 8 and, 8 and 9, excuse me, 18, 19, New Century Version says, the Lord says, forget what happened before and do not think about the past. Verse 19 says, look at the new things I am going to do. Look at the new things I am going to do. Guess what? Mm -hmm. Through you. Because you are going to be a part of it. Because you are going to be helping out. You're going to be doing something. You're going to be involved. And you're going to be, and you're going to make yourself available. You need to make yourself available. Well, nobody ever does this. Nobody ever, well, are, have you made yourself available? You haven't made yourself available. When you make yourself available, guess what? Coach says, I want you to go in. It's time for you to go and do something. Yeah. Be available and be ready. Yeah. Stay ready. Listen to what God is saying to through the, through the prophets. God is more interested in your future uh -huh. than He is in your past. Yeah, that's right. God says in verse nineteen, "Look, and you can put your name there, Jose, at the new things I'm about to do in the new year. Yeah. So forget the past. I have great plans for you. Uh -huh. We don't have to be in bondage of our past or the sins, or the sin, the cares, the troubles." The problems, the failures, the setbacks, bad habits, bad ways, or bad company. Right. This is just a few. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can add, you can add some. Amen. Bondage means what? Slavery right. means captivity, oppression, and burden. Yeah. The children of God, they wanted to go back. Yeah, they did. They wanted to go back mm -hmm. to what all these things, you know, mm -hmm. and they took. A four-day trip, and they turned it into a forty-year yes. journey. Huh. And some of them, you know what? Yeah. They didn't get to go into the promised land God had given them. Probably God promised you something, and they didn't get to go because of sin and disobedience. So we have to be careful. Make a new start this new year. Change is good. Change is not bad. God created this world. Man. Sin changed it. But God sent Jesus. Yes, he did. Days change, years change, seasons change. Mm -hmm. We must change. Yes. Okay? You're not a little baby anymore. That's it. <laughs> All of a sudden, you're grown. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Amen. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> transformation, change. You've seen the transformation and the change of, uh, I don't want to say this right. Cocoon, is that how you say it? Yes. You see this ugly little cocoon mm -hmm. there, and all of a sudden, because of change and transformation, mm -hmm. a beautiful butterfly comes out of it. Yes. Isn't it amazing how God can take a person in sin and bondage, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you're transformed into a beautiful person in Christ, to do all things through Christ. Uh -huh. Amen. See yourself that way. Man, I've seen some beautiful, beautiful uh, cat. Uh, Cocoon, caterpillar, cocoon, yeah. butterfly. Yeah. That's what I was. Yeah. How do I change? Glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You receive him as your Lord and Savior. Yeah. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to be in church. You don't have to be in this building. You could be driving. You could be at home. You could be laying down. That's what and you say, doing. Driving, watching. And you know, uh, you just when you had enough of this world, you had enough of <laughs> you being on the throne. <laughs> And it's time for you to step down and put God on the throne. Uh -huh. yes. all, you, all you have to do is just say, yes. Lord, I've sinned against you. I uh -huh. repent. Come into my life and yes. be my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord. When you say it sincerely, when you say it from your heart, mm -hmm. he's going to come. Yes. Amen. We need to start making changes. And we need to start reading this word mm -hmm. and making changes in our life. Yes. What he wants us to do. It don't matter what people say. Don't matter what your That's old right. friends, you know, friends are going to change because he's going to bring new, bring new friends. Yeah. And your old friends are going to drop away. Why? Because you ain't hanging out no more. Mm -hmm. It's a spiritual birth <coughs> inside. Yes. They still see the physical you, mm -hmm. but that transformation took place. I'm a new creature in Christ. Let me yes. read it. Let me, let me read it to you. <laughs> 2 Corinthians 5. 17 through 20 in the uh, New Living Translation. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. It says anyone who belongs to Christ yes. has become a new person. You confess them and now you're a new person. Mm -hmm. 
when you confess him with your mouth, yes. your words, nobody can stop it. That's it. Amen. Nobody can stop that. You and your person. The old life is gone. The new life has begun. Yeah. And all these and all all of this mm -hmm. is a gift from God. Yes, it who is. brought who brought us back to Himself mm -hmm. through Christ. And God has given us the task of reconciling people to Him. Yes. Yeah, huh? For God was in Christ reconciling the world to Himself, uh -huh. no longer counting people's sin against them. Right. And He gave us. This wonderful message of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. So we are Christ's ambassadors. Yes. yes we are. God is making his appeal mm -hmm. through us. We speak for Christ yes. when we plead, come back to God. Yes. Amen. Praise his God. ministers of reconciliation, his ambassador speaking on his behalf. Yes. Man, that's great company. Yes. And see yourself doing great things for God. Amen. Not just a nobody you are somebody yes you know don't let nobody put you in that little shell that you know nobody that's right that's right you are somebody you're mm -hmm. special amen who remember this and pass it on along to loved ones friends enemies regardless of their past <laughs> or how bad things uh -huh. have gone hope yes god hates sin mm -hmm. but he loves sinners uh-huh yeah. for god so loved the world that he sacrificed his only son for us. Yeah. He hates sin, but he loves sinners. Yes. Amen. Proverbs three, five, and six. This is our text for the for the new year. New life version says, Trust in the Lord with all oh, your uh -huh. heart. Mm -hmm. And do not trust in your own understanding. Agree with him in all your ways. Yes. And he will make your path straight. Thank you, Lord. Amen. He knows yeah. where you're headed, and you're gonna know where you're headed. Yes. And I'm I'm pressing on with God. Yeah. No more, you know. Good. Distractions and things just fall off, off, you know. And That's I'm good. pressing on with it. Here's what I wrote. It says, "Children of Israel made a four-day journey into a forty-year 40 year journey." Mm -hmm. You gotta trust them. Mm -hmm. As soon as they see things change and not go their ways, as mm -hmm. soon as they don't have control. Yes. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> Let's go back. And you got to be careful because there's a big crowd over there uh -huh. wanting to do, rebel and do their thing. Oh, yeah. And you got you over here. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you are <laughs> in the right place mm -hmm. and don't have to join the crowd. Yeah. You got to be careful. Uh -huh. Amen. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to be in a crowd that's going to hell. I want to be in <laughs> a single going yes. to the Father. Amen. Mm -hmm. Going to God. Amen. 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 <laughs> So make a new start this year. Mm -hmm. Having your priorities in order. That's the first thing you yes. want to do. Matthew 6, 33 says, But seek first the kingdom, the kingdom of God. Take yourself off the throne <laughs> and put God in the throne. Yeah. Okay, yeah. amen. He's the boss. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you visit with him. Yeah. He says, And his righteousness and all these things will be added on to mm -hmm. you. And I'm going to be using the acronym START, S-T-A-R-T. -T. And I'm going to be talking about this. And we're not going to finish this. And we're going to continue next week. Amen. Yeah. But first of all, the S for START is stop all my distractions. I need to stop all my distractions. Mm -hmm. And you know what your distractions are. Mm -hmm. So you need to stop them. Mm -hmm. But remember, I can't. Yes, the Bible says you can do all things all right. through Christ yes. who strengthens you. That's it. Lord, I need your help. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I bet you, and I won't bet you, I know Jesus went to the Father mm -hmm. when he knew from the time he started, he came, he knew that he was going to be sacrificed. Yes. I said, Lord, I need, I need, and all the people he had to put up with mm -hmm. on a daily basis. <laughs> Lord, I need your strength oh, Jesus. to continue. Mm -hmm. I need your strength to make it through. Yes. He went to the Father and asked for yes. help. Help me, Lord. Help me, help me, Father. Help me, Father. But we can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. He showed us that we can pray and go to the Father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need your help. Mm -hmm. To make a change? Yes. That's right. So Amen. stop all distractions, leaving the past behind. Seek Him first. Mm -hmm. Turn the old page and open the new page. Yes. Closing the old, closing the old, and opening the new. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we don't want to live in the past. We don't want to get into the future. We want to live in the now. 
in the present. Turn the page on a lukewarm year and a bad relationship with Christ. Turn the page on unforgiveness. Turn the page on past sin, on past failures, on past setbacks, and whatever else you, you want to throw in there. Remember insanity. Insanity is simple. You want to do the same thing, tradition. You want to do the same thing, same sin, same troubles, same problems, mm. over and over, year after year, mm. and expecting different results. Yeah. And nothing's happened. I think uh, last week I told you about the little hamster in a, in a mm -hmm. spinning wheel. Mm -hmm. Man, he, he's going like he's going a million miles, you know? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But he ain't gone nowhere. Maybe. He's still in the same spot. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how we are without Christ. Yeah. We're just spinning our wheels, yeah. doing nothing, going that's nowhere. It. That's it. Amen. But with Christ, He says, "Go into all the world." Yes. Amen. So we're yeah. going somewhere, and yeah. we're accomplishing something. Let's go there. Let's read it. Yeah. Because this, uh, this is the new year, so we need to read that again. Where is it? It's in uh, Mark, uh, chapter sixteen, okay. verses fifteen through eighteen. Mm. Mark, chapter six, sixteen. Verses 15 through 18. Are you there? Yes. Uh, yes. <coughs> correction. I, I wrote this down. It says correction brings direction. Mm. <laughs> so we're going to change and we're going to correct, make some corrections, and it's going to bring some correct, it's going to bring some direction. Yes. Are you there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says, And he said unto them, Who is he? If if you read it in if you read it in the amplified, the amplified says he is capitalized, mm. and also mine is in red. Mm -hmm. Fifteen through eighteen is in red. I mean, yeah. Jesus speaking here. Yes. But fifteen said, and he said to them, "Go ye." Mm. You know where it says "Go ye." Mm. Where it says "ye," scratch it and put your name there. Yeah. <laughs> he said, well, God never talks to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's telling you right yeah, there. Go right ye, there. you, uh -huh. you, into all the world. Mm -hmm. Not just in Marfa. <laughs> <laughs> but go into all the world mm -hmm. and do what? Preach. And preach the gospel to every creature. Preach. Every creature, I mean, all people. Mm -hmm. And he that believeth is ba and, and is baptized shall be saved. Yes. And he that believeth not shall be Damn. Damn. Mm -hmm. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Mm -hmm. In my name, they shall what? Cast, cast, out, out, devils. cast out devils. You know when you cast something? <clears throat> I mean, yeah. you got to throw it. Gotta that means when you yeah. cast something out, I yeah. mean, they don't want to come out. Yeah. But you says, is this cast out devils? Mm -hmm. Cast out demons? Cast out yes. evil spirits? Yes. You got to cast them out. Because you know what? They found a little comfy house. <laughs> <laughs> And they don't want to come out. That's it. And some, mm. you got to cast out. Mm. Right? You know, when yeah. uh, Legion came and talked to Jesus, mm. <laughs> he says, my name, he's Legion. Mm. He says, well, Legion, Legion, because we're many. Mm. There was thousands. Mm. And he says, can you, you're going to cast us out? Can you cast us into those pigs over there? Mm -hmm. And that's what Jesus says. He said, go. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. He was a man of authority. He said, go, and you can do the same thing. Yes. He says, this is something that you could do, not yeah. just pastor or right. some uh, some special person. Mm -hmm. It's you. Yeah. Let me find me again. Cast out devils. They, that's you, mm. will speak in new tongues. And 18, they, you, shall, mm -hmm. uh, shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Yes. They shall what? Lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Say, well, you know, my child is, is sick, and it's midnight, and there's nothing open right now. Well, mm. guess what, mother? Well, guess what, father? Mm. Well, guess what, child of God? It says lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. And I'm laying hands on my child right now yeah. in faith, Lord, and I'm believing what your word says. Right. And I'm believing yes. they are healed. Amen. Yes. And I'm taking authority. So a spirit of sickness, mm -hmm. I command you to go in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. Yes. Listen, the Bible says this body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. So I'm not allowing any sickness in my body in yes. Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
Let me read it from the Amplified. It says, And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach mm -hmm. and publish openly the good news, the gospel to every creature of the whole human race. Mm -hmm. 16. And he that believeth, who adheres to and trusts in and relies on the gospel and him who, whom it set forth and is baptized will be saved from the penalty of eternal death. But he who does not uh, believe, who does not adhere to all and trust in and rely on gospel and him, oh, excuse me, and him whom it set forth, it will be condemned. Sorry about that. And then it says, verse 18 says, I mean, 17. And these uh, attesting signs will accompany those who believe in my yes. name. They will drive out, listen, this is the Amplified. Mm. They will drive out demons. Yes. <laughs> when you drive something out, they don't want to come out. They want to stay. They find them a nice place. Drive out demons, they will speak in new tongues. 18. They will pick up serpents. And even if they drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt them. They will lay hand, their hands uh -huh. on the sick and they will get well. Yeah. Yes, amen. They will lay hands. It didn't say it had to be somebody else. Right. It says they will lay hands mm -hmm. on the sick. That's it. And they will get well. Yeah. So you, when you get full of the word, you're going to have faith. Amen. Yeah. The Bible says uh, the just. So walk by faith. Yes. And we're walking by faith. And we're believing. The more word you get in you, the more faith. Amen. Amen. So we more faith you get in you, the more fears got to go. That's right. Amen. Yeah. I'm not I don't fear anything. Praise God. The enemy. <laughs> Praise God. Uh let me see. We talked about insanity. That's insane. Uh, Acts 20. You can mark this down. Verse uh, Acts 20, 20 uh, 24 in the Living Bible. It says, My life is worth nothing. Mm -hmm. This is from the Living Bible. Mm -hmm. My life is worth n nothing unless I use it for doing the work assigned mm -hmm. me by the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. This is what the Word says. Wow. The work of telling others the good news. Mm -hmm about God's wonderful kindness and love. Amen. This, this, this is in the Word of God. Amen. Paul was sold out, believer to God. Mm -hmm. So can we. Yes. He sold himself out. Basically, he sold out, he surrendered, he committed. Yes. And he made himself a legend. Mm -hmm. His <laughs> life belonged to the Lord. Yes. Ready for anything. On fire, staying focused, mm -hmm. and having an attitude of winning, Having an attitude of Amen. gratitude. Amen. <coughs> Paul, listen, Paul was determined. He was focused. He was firm. Yes. He was unwavering. He was steady. And he was sold out. Yes. And this is what we need to do. Yes. Amen. Remember? This is the S, the word, letter S on start. Yes. We need to start and stop all distractions. And Paul was totally surrendered and committed to the Lord. Amen. And we can do all these things ourselves. Yes. Amen. So we're going to stop there and we'll pick it up uh, next. Okay. So praise God, Father. Do you receive it? Yes. <laughs> you, yes. You, you, you have to receive it. Right. Or me or, or receive it, you know. Yes. Right. But if yes. you don't receive it, it it's not going to help you. That's it. If you want to be helped, God wants to help you. Yes, but does. we need to help ourselves. Right. Amen. So praise God. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity of sharing your word. Thank you, Lord. Your word is going out and yes. delivering people, Father. Bless, bless, bless the Lord in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Whew. Thank you, Father. Amen. If you never, it's a new year. If you never ask Jesus in your heart, now's the time, you know. This is a great opportunity. Yes. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And you know what? He will. He will. Yeah. Amen. Yes. He will. So praise God. And that's what it takes. But now what I have to do is I need to get busy and start reading what the Word of God says. Yes. 
Bible basic instruction before leaving earth. Yes. It means I got to open my Bible and start reading it mm -hmm. and start doing what it says. Mm -hmm. and start going to wherever God sent me to go, a place where they teach from the Bible. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Anyway, thank you, Lord. If you're sick, sickness in your body, we talked about this, but the Bible says, by your stripes, you're healed. Just lay hands on myself. Nobody here but me. <laughs> I'm laying hands on myself. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. By Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Just mm -hmm. place that hand on whatever part of your body is hurting, whatever yes. part of your body needs to touch. Yes. Lord, I thank you. Just examine me, Lord, and anything in my body that needs a touch of you, Lord, that needs a healing, Lord. Thank you for and By Jesus Christ, I am healed right now in Jesus' yes. name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Praise Amen. God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Well, another part, another way you can participate is the time to give. Yes. Amen. So Amen. those of you watching, listening, <laughs> just go to our website, nbcbigben.com, and uh, just hit that donate button there. If you're mailing it, P.O. Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. God loves you. Happy New Year. God loves you, and we love you. God bless.